it's Linda. Today I'm gonna show you how you can use our crayons on other places than eyes and lips because I keep talking about that they are so multifunctional you can use them on your face, on your eyes, on your brows and whatever but I usually never use them on other places than my eyes so today I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So I'm gonna use one of the crayons as a concealer, one of the crayons as a blush, and maybe one or two as my eyebrow pomade or pencil. So just keep watching. I'm gonna start with concealer, and for concealer, I'm gonna use the Light Core crayon. It's kind of, it's got a yellowish tone to it, which reduces redness. So if you have like redness from spots and pimples, it's perfect for that. So as you can see here, it reduces all the red spots. And the great thing here is that dries and dries to a waterproof form formula. So if you have a water-based foundation, it won't move the concealer. Also, it's really important to always sharpen the crayon after if you're going to use it on eyes or lips. As you can see, the difference is quite big. So this is a really, really good, not just to put inside the waterline, to make your eyes bigger or underneath other colors to make them pop. It's also really, really good concealer, especially for fair, light and medium skin. Now I'm gonna apply my foundation and I'm gonna use the new Vision, Vision Cream Cover Perfecting and Shaping Wand from Danessa Myricks. They have the same formula as the Vision Cream Cover foundations, but they just come in another form so this is basically both foundation and concealer in one. So it's a hybrid. So I'm just gonna, because usually I'm mixing these two. Hello? Oh, shit. Okay, so usually next step would be powder, but instead I'm gonna do my blush. Anger Mood makes the perfect cream blush. So I'm just gonna paint it on like this and blend it out with my sponge. And I love how natural it blends in and it will stay there for the rest of the day. It won't move. So this is how you can create a nice blush using a pencil. To make a long lasting base, I always wear powder on top. Even though I want a dewy feeling in the end, I want to make a matte feeling first. I just want to set everything. And right now I am using Paris Berlin H, like powder high tech, high tech powder. In let me see, HT20. I'm gonna do sparkly brows. So I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna use the angled brush, and I'm gonna use the angled brush and spar as a pomade. And this also makes the eyebrows waterproof and smudge proof. So you can take a shower, you can go swimming. Okay, Spar is actually a really, really nice brow shade. It's like very ashy and well, it gives a little glitter, but still, I really like it. I really, really like how this turned out. I'm gonna top top it off with just painting the hairs oh my god i i really like how this turned out 
This is basically the perfect ashy eyebrow shade. And everybody likes glitter, right? That's tip number two. Three. Oh my god, three. I'm already done. The next thing I'm gonna do is just to put a little highlight on as well. Because right now I feel a little bit flat. So I'm using my Infinity palette to create highlight on top of my blush. Because I always use highlight on top of the blush. I don't feel like I need any, what is it called, contour for this look. But um, yeah, this is just like the basics that you can do with the crayons. And I think it's really, it's so simple. It takes up minimum space if you're traveling and it gives such a nice result. I'm just gonna top it off with Blossom Lip Oil to moisturize my lips. Okay, I think this is it. I really, I really love the glittery brows. They make, they make it look a little bit more interesting actually. This is something I'm gonna do more, definitely. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click like and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again very soon. Bye guys.